Remember when the DMR looked like this before it got nerfed? Well, that was bad, but Warzone 2's meta might actually be worse. I found this old Reddit post that has all these old Warzone 1 weapons with their time to kills in this chart here, and a gun that is included in this chart is actually the DMR before it got nerfed. So obviously we don't care about all these other guns in the chart at the moment. This video is about the DMR and Warzone 2's TTK. So let's search the DMR and we got these three different options and the DMR with rapid fire on was the fastest time to kill version of the DMR back when we used to use it and it was absolutely broken. Now, if we look at the chest shot time to kill here, it is 580 milliseconds. Now, when we go over to sim.gg, which is a website that data mines Call of Duty and provides us with the data mine time to kills in the game and other in-depth stats, we have the RPK and the TAC V here. And as you can see, the RPK has a 600 millisecond TTK here up to 25 meters and the TAC V has a 525 millisecond TTK. So the TAC V when only hitting chest shots is actually killing faster than the DMR ever was when it was extremely broken. And the RPK is only killing 20 milliseconds slower than the DMR ever was. Now, keep in mind, this is only up to 37 meters here. And once you do get past 37 meters, the time to kill does start to jump up. But even at long range here at 46 meters plus, their time to kill is still very, very, very fast. Now, if we go back over to the DMR's time to kill chart here, we can see that if you're only hitting headshots, the time to kill is too 190 milliseconds. And if we go back over to sim.gg and we change it to only hitting headshots here with the TAC V and RPK, we can see that it is 400 milliseconds time to kill with the RPK and then 315 milliseconds time to kill with the TAC V here up to 34 meters. And then again, it does go up. So it's not quite as broken as the DMR ever was, but it is very close. Remember that the MAC-10 here was also super broken around the same time that the DMR was super broken. And if we look at the MAC-10's time to kill here to the chest, it is 612 milliseconds. Now, if we go over to the SMG meta for Warzone 2, we have the Lockman sub and we have the Fennec 45. And up to eight meters, the these are their time to kills. The Lockman sub at 525 milliseconds and the Fennec at 495 milliseconds. Both are substantially faster to kill than the MAC-10 was when it was absolutely broken. Now past eight meters here, the Lockman sub does start to fall off and the time to kill is a bit slower than the MAC-10 was back then, but the Fennec continues to have a super broken time to kill and then it starts to fall off here at 13 meters. But even at 13 meters, it's got basically the same time to kill that the MAC-10 did. And realistically, you're not really using any SMGs past 13 meters anyway. Now, if we go back over to the time to kill chart for the MAC-10 here, if you're hitting all headshots, it was a 544 millisecond time to kill. And if we go back over to sim.gg and change it to only headshots, we have a 375 millisecond time to kill and a 275 millisecond time to kill for the Fennec, and then obviously it does get a little slower here. My point is that the meta in Warzone 2 is much more broken than it was in Warzone 1. There is undeniable proof right here that the meta is more broken and you're going to die much quicker in this game than you did in Warzone 1 with the most broken gun ever ever in Warzone 1. So something needs to be done. Either the time to kill needs to be raised across the board in Warzone 2, or these guns just need to be nerfed. But if that were to happen, it would probably happen when the Season 2 update comes out, right? Which is supposed to be on February 1st, but it has been data mined here, according to Charlie Intel, that the season has been delayed and is probably not gonna be coming out until February 15th now. So what do you guys think about all this? Are you happy with how the time to kill is in Warzone 2? You like it faster like this, or do you think it needs to be slowed down and we need these weapons to be nerfed? In my opinion, the time to kill is just way too fast and this is one of my biggest issues with the game. If the time to kill was slowed down a bit, I do think I would enjoy the game a lot more, but at this current state that it's in, I'm just, not enjoying it quite as much as I did with Warzone 1, but just let me know what you guys think down below.